Hello there. My name is Taylor, and I'm going to give you a little history on the discovery of atoms. And I thought to make a little animatic out of my notes and research. Hope you enjoy it. So let's start off going way back to 400 BCE, where this guy named Democitrus... He was a philosopher. He came up with questions. He wondered if what would happen if you cut an object smaller and smaller, and how small would you be able to cut up the object? In conclusion, this led to there being a point where you can't cut any smaller. Democitrus had a word for it. He called it atonomos. Now let's fast forward to 1805. This person named John Dalton was the first to make a useful atomic theory of matter, which was based on experiments. He found that the atoms were the smallest pieces of an element. Another thing he found is fixed ratios of elements between or within different sized samples with the same properties. Dalton connected the concept of atoms to the notation of compounds. Now, we're going to jump to 92 years later, to the future, to 1897, where a man by the name of J.J. Thompson created a hypothesis from observing a cathode ray tube. Thompson believed that the rays emitted from the tube were inseparable from the negative charge. He used a magnetic field to prove it. The cathode ray tube would be one of Thompson's experiments. By applying the magnetic field across the tube, the charge bent away from the negative side, leaning towards the positive side, proving that the ray was negatively charged. Thompson found that there were separate positive and negative charges within an atom. He discovered electrons. Now, jumping to 14 years later in 1911, we get this guy named Ernest Rutherford. Ironically, he was J.J. Thompson's student. But what Rutherford experimented with was something called the gold foil experiment. The goal was to record the locations of the alpha particle strikes as passing through the gold foil. During the experiment, most of the alpha particles passed through the foil unaffected, but some particles deflected and bounced back. Rutherford thought about there must be something significantly larger than electrons and dense in the gold atoms that can deflect large alpha particles. The atom must be mostly empty space. Rutherford will eventually discover that there is, in fact, a nucleus in an atom. Two years later, in 1913, a man by the name of Niels Bohr, I think that's how you pronounce it, who was Rutherford's student, did an emission spectra of a hydrogen experiment. When he was looking at the emission spectra, he saw a few colors of light instead of a full rainbow. Bohr calculated the energy that electrons were emitting. Bohr didn't see the full rainbow due to him realizing that the energy of the electrons must be quantized. He also modified the previous nuclear model that was made to also conclude that the electrons move in fixed size and energy. The energy of the electron depends on the size of the orbit. Later down the line in 1924 through 1928, Four scientists, Louis D. Brogel, Aaron Sch Schroederdinger, <laughs> uh, Werner Heisenberg, and Paul Dirac did some complicated math experiments. In 1924, D. Brogel determined that electrons could act as both particles and waves. His experiments confirmed that electron beams could be bent as they pass through a slit as light could. Although we never know the momentum and position of electron in an atom, now jumping to 1932, another scientist by the name of James Chadwick, who was also another Rutherford student, did an experiment called the Beryllium Experiment. He thought that there were neutral massive particles in the nucleus of atoms, so Chadwick decided to track down evidence which eventually led up to the discovery of neutrons. Discovering neutrons took much longer than discovering charged protons and electrons since electrical fields did not affect the travel of neutrons. We are now finally at the end of the road. There's still some things we don't know about atoms yet, but all these experiments over the years are one step toward the understanding of how these things work.